What's the deal, family man? Welcome back to the Real Distraction channel on YouTube. It's your boy Sean, and we here with another banger for y'all, man. So look, Adam Calhoun, man. AC, I call him AC, man. The boy AC out of Chicago. He got a song called The Patriot. Y'all throw in the comments a bunch of times, told me I should react to it. So we got The Patriot going on, man. Uh, one thing I learned about, I think recently Adam Calhoun was saying he was going to start stop rapping or something like that. I think I saw some type of video he made where he was considering to stop rapping. Or maybe that was like some months ago. I don't know. Let me know about that in the comments, though. All the stuff that I've listened to so far has been older tracks. Like, these are all months ago old for the most part. Uh, and not so many, like, newer tracks. So when I saw he was thinking about, like, quitting rap, I wasn't sure if that was really old or very, very recent. But let me know if he's assigned to, like, lead rap or anything like that. Um, and also any other songs I should be checking out. I think I got War on the list, a couple other tracks on the list. Just let me know what I should be reacting to, man, and I'll check it out. You know what I'm saying? But today we got The Patriot. We're going to see what's popping off with that one, man. Uh, before we do, though, the giveaway. So I pretty much got through almost all the messages now at this point. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to kind of, like, do some sort of randomization type of thing. Uh... And then I'll be getting that money out to y'all. So still be on the lookout, you know what I'm saying? The week's still early. We're still early in the week, man. Only halfway through, really, by the time you watch this. So, you know, be patient, y'all. Be patient. It's coming, though. It's coming. Just be on the lookout. Again, I want to say thank you. You feel me? So let's get straight into it, man. Adam Calhoun, the Patriot. Let's see what he's talking about. I'm supposed to, like... Talking shit, supposed to fight. I'm the poster boy for white. You just making noise, you like. Mumble on the beat. Might as well just annoy the mic. Who wanna go to war with me? Better get your soldiers. Okay. Better get your soldiers. Better get your soldiers right. Okay, we got a homie right here. We got a homie right here. We got a homie. Two homies right here. Okay. Okay, he got his team with him. Trump 2020. He took an L. It's okay, though. Uh, let's see what else we got over here. You know what I'm saying? We got the homie from uh, Twilight right here. It's the homie from Twilight. You feel me? Who else we got up in here? These are the homies right here. That's the homie. 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 <laughs> That's the. They all the homies, really. Though. You know what I'm saying? We just we don't see what the squad looking like. Seeing what the squad looking like. Might as well just annoy the mic. Who wanna go to war with me? Better get your soldiers right. All these gold chains like a cocaine dealer spit propane. All the shit you say, I ain't feeling. Have my money in the ceiling. I've been making a killing. Ain't a guest in this web shit, bitch. I own a building. Mm. I ran through the shit on my stripes. I will not apologize for being white. You can miss me with that race shit. Racist, <laughs> ain't no color when the base hits. Face it, fuck around and get a facelift. I ain't here with he said, ain't no color when that base hit. That's a fact, dog. Uh, when that music ain't got no, that music ain't got no color. A vibe is a vibe is a vibe. You know what I'm saying? One thing about like, one thing about white rappers, bro, and not like old white rappers, like these newer white, like age white rappers and stuff. Like the Adam Calhoun, Tom McDonald, uh, who else? Adam Calhoun, Tom McDonald. There's a couple other couple other ones, but they always bring up race in their raps, and I uh, I get it. Like it's a part of their style. That's a part of their style. That's what brings in the, the numbers, the viewers, and stuff like that. But also, it's nice when you get songs or certain like content that is just them rapping, and it's not necessarily about like race all the time you know what i'm you get what you get what i'm coming at it's like it's cool because you're bringing up good topics and, and very important stuff but sometimes like somebody just wants to see your art your your skills like i just want to see you rap spit bars shit like that and ac got some joints like that too don't get me wrong i'm just bringing up the idea that it's always uh about race it's almost like how uh when rappers are out in like the 70s and 80s and shit there was a lot more activism, like shit type of stuff before it was like gangster rap. You had like KRS-One, certain rappers, everything was about race for them as they rap too. Um, but then more styles get to come out. So, I don't know, it was just an interest, interesting thought that I had where there's like, you you hear race a lot in their songs, but also you do in other, in any other raps of all races too. It's just an interesting thought and perspective that I saw. You know what I'm saying? And I wish, you know, it, it could be versatile 
be more versatile. But I do still enjoy like the fact that they bring up these things because they got to be able to defend themselves too and how they feel about certain things and be able to express themselves as well. So it's important that they make those songs too though. Very important. What you saying all them games that you playing leave you laying right there where you stand. Yeah, I ain't never needing unless it's God or Jesus. You don't love it, you should leave this land. interesting okay so he was talking about the need thing so that's basically has to do with the whole uh well let me see when this song came out actually before i even say that august 6 2020 okay so the need thing is a double entendre y'all might see it one way somebody who's like who wants to play like oh you know uh I'm just I'm just gonna say stereotypes, okay? This is just stereotypes, so y'all get the point, all right? Don't take it offensively. You got the right wing, the white person type of situation, the all lives matter type of person, whatever. They're gonna hear that need situation and be like, yeah, fuck Kaepernick, fuck football, fuck all that shit. That's a bitch ass move. You know, we Americans out here. The song is called The Patriot. You know what I'm saying? So in one instance. You could think you could think on that end of it like that's who what he's saying when he's talking about I'm not kneeling unless it's for Jesus God or for Jesus right. On another end, this is my personal thought. He could be whether he is or not is a whole another idea and a question. But he also could be talking about the opposite end of that uh, that that spectrum and how the dude Derek Chauvin who's actually going through uh, his uh, trial right now he's about to start his like court trial right now for putting his knee on his neck of George Floyd, you feel me? And he could be talking about that. Like, that's not that's not patriot, patriotic either. Like, that's a whole nother citizen, human being. You just need, putting your knee on his neck for 10 minutes. He's talking about you can't breathe and you killed him. So, in that aspect, he could be saying, like, I'm not putting dropping no knee unless it's for God or for Jesus. Talking about both sides. Whether he is or not, he'd have to say that himself in a song or an interview. But that's where I'm assuming he's going with that based on the racism song and him giving you the two bo both sides of the coin not just one side both sides of both coins actually so i feel like he's doing the same with that but i could be wrong but y'all let me know in the comments y'all talk about it i'm supposed to like talk shit supposed to fight you ain't even close to right you know you just a troll you like Bitch. wear a mask burn the flag fuck police but i don't see nobody burn that flag in front of me I'm so proud and I ain't backing down Bet this gun in my lap on And he from Southside Chicago? If he from Southside Chicago, he's seen somebody burn the flag in front of him <laughs> <laughs> The fuck you talking about? <laughs> if you from Southside Chicago, they definitely talking about Fuck the police and burning the flag in front of you, bro I'm sorry I'm sorry that was just, <laughs> I feel what he was going with that But you from if you from Southside Chicago, bro that's happened, Both them things happen to you, dog. <laughs> when you rack with around and you can get whacked, you just acting out loud. You think black people proud about what's happening now? Mm, Shit. Facts. I doubt it. Liberals yell the loudest. Bunch of white people in the crowd like they bowed it. Look, mm. hold tight to your BLM sign. I don't see you in the hood when these little kids die. I ain't here. Hey, respect though. Bro, respect for real, cause a lot of people will be rapping some shit with no understanding to what the fuck really going on. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna cap, bro. A lot of the, that BLM shit, it's all a trend, bro. Just as the same shit. Black Lives Matter, All Lives Matter, they both trends. They're literally both trends, bro. Shit, both of them is pretty stupid. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I participated in protests, but that was for my own personal reasons. But those two things, in, in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like, both them shits got trendy and got very out of hand. Both them shits, trendy and out of hand. You know what I'm saying? And it only became more crazy and crazy and crazy and crazy on both sides. Uh, man, it was good and bad and people on both sides, man. It is what it is. What you saying? All them games that you playing leave you laying right there where you stand. Yeah, I ain't never needing unless it's God or Jesus. You don't
that's a great song, man. That was a dope song by AC. I fuck with that, bro. Because people are going to take that the wrong way, and it's not supposed to be taken in the wrong way, man. End of the day, we got to make sure that we, can tr we, we don't lose control due to the powers that be. End of the day, that's what really matters. And also, let's, like, get over, like, all the hate shit. On, on, on all ends. All ends. Every single corner, bro, got to be responsible and take accountability for their actions with the things that they put out into the, the society, the environment, etc. All that shit. You know what I'm saying? Shit don't got to be so serious all the damn time. But some shit don't got to be so lax, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, it is what it is. I'm just throwing out random opinions today, but... I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. Go have a good conversation in the comments just like y'all do for every other Adam Calhoun track, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.